What's up, guys? My name is George, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to more Chaotic Shadow Warriors. Last time, we rescued Maxwell from the Mepetum Oasis, or is it Mipetum? I can't remember the exact pronunciation of that, but who cares? And we are here in Mount Pillar. And also, you know, I realized we have three fragments of that so called Red Mutra to stop those shadow creatures, so we are almost complete. Um, we also found a music or battle gear of things we already have. So we're going to be fighting some new creatures here we haven't seen and a new tribe because this is the location of the Danians. Maybe I'll use a couple in a battle just to show off what they do. But Danians aren't my favorite tribe in the game. They're probably my least favorite out of these so-called like six of them. But giant open area here. Plenty of refine points too for us. Let's collect them all. Cause we shall need be shall be bleh, shall be needing these to make our creature stronger. Wow, that guy's huge. Let's come over here. And we got some Dany music as well. Elemental elegy. Got a team for that. Oh, and a cutscene. These guys aren't as friendly as some other creatures. Lord, there is the leader of the Danians. They don't like listening to Reason much. And we got the, the leader already. Wow, that's awesome. Unfortunately, we can't really use her because she can't be entered into a mixed armies. And we only have one dating so far. Alright, so now we got to try to escape. Uh, let's see what we can do here. It's telling us to go over there. Alright. Guess let's just climb up. Something scannable over here. Oh, I think I see it over there. Oh. That's just a torch. And Wama. it's Wamba. Here's your chance. Just gently pushes the gate open. I think that's lore, right? See, I was in jail for treason. This human has a device that will lead us to the music. Uh, oh, we, we got baited. Destroy them. Okay, so we got two Danians to scan. Oh, all right. While we're at it, here's a level 3 Prince Mudinu with a lot of wisdom based attacks. That's awesome. As well as a level 3 Bodle. Not sure if I'm going to use them. Um, the thing is, I want to scan these Danians as well. So I don't know if I'm going to be showing this or not. But it's always good to see new creatures, right? And then I might have a chance to scan them again later, I'm I'm presuming. But let's just you know fight it out. Alright, uh bah, 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 bah. let's just attack the Malvadine for sure. They do a lot of damage. Oops. That's like the first one I missed in a while. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, so. 
Let's check this out. Level 3, so I only need to scan you once. And level 2. And he has the Doom Hammer. Alright, Wami, well, calm down. Who's that, Malish? Okay. Uh, after we scan him, we'll focus on Wama, and then we'll, you know, scan Malish a couple times. Oh, well, still no damage. It's too Riptide. I just realized I don't need to have my uh, Spectral Viewer quit because there might not be too many my pettings here. Oh, that was a horrible scan. Horrible. Not proud of that one. Just taunt. Let him know, Nadrin. Let him know. This guy's like a scorpion ant thingy hybrid. This should be a quick and easy defeat for the Malvadine. Malvadine could be crazy strong with the right support. Especially with a Waikiki. Song of Geonova, okay. Gonna try to do some damage to me. Got the scan and blocked. Wama's done, so we can focus attacking him now. Uh, this is too Shriek Shrock. Shrock? Shock. I don't want to, like, completely blow him up because I want to have enough time to scan Malice to Wild Horrible. Jesus Christ. Dude, this guy's tanky. I think he had like 50 HP? That's actually a decent amount. But he also has the Elixir of Tenacity too that helps make a little more, more tanky with energy. What was his Courage? Well, I've been taunting really, so his Courage isn't that high. So he could be a one to benefit from, you know, the Evergreen Tunic. Give him, what, like, additional 20 energy? That's huge. Block this real quick to mitigate the damage we'll be taking. Oh, didn't matter at all because I have two energy. <laughs> Oops. Later, Wama. That's what you get for deceiving us. Okay, this is our second scan of Malish. Malish? Malish? Uh, I guess I pronounce it. This is supposed to be like a play on words for Malice. There are no guarantees in Param except my victory over you. That's right, Manager. That's right. How much health do you have? 23. Ooh, I don't want to attack you. Okay, loser. Let's see what you've got. Oof. I can just end him in a couple hits. I don't care about the last scan because it won't be... Uh, the, the final refinement won't have that low of energy, so might as well just get these attacks in now. Oh my god, he's nice to know what. I've fought much worthier opponents than you. They all lost. Don't want to attack him. He'll just die next turn. If I can scan him properly. Dude, his stats suck. Dude, why is that having a hard time doing it? You're not leaving this place. Not alive. That was really mean. I fought much worthier opponents than you. They all lost. Ah, I don't go down that easy. Okay, so this should be the final one we do. Yep, perfect. 
No. Oh, I lived that. I needed the block so Nitrous wouldn't die. Luckily for us, our creatures come back at the end of each battle. So, like, if they die, they're gone forever. That would make this game a lot more difficult, really. For a second, I thought my mic was muted. That would suck. Okay. I only scanned him twice. Oh, who cares? I'll probably get another chance to scan him again later. Obliterators. Oh, nice achievement. Uh, equip creature gains all 10 fire. Sacrifice obliterators. Deal five damage. Two bronze flight and two song of resistance. Nice. Almost there. If the signal gets much stronger, I'll be right on top of that new chicken. How? Oh, okay. We fought him. So we should be able to just leave now, right? No, McQueen. You are an enemy of the high. Oh, not to fight her, right? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um There's a lot of scannable creatures here. Oh, uh, I don't know what I want to do. Like I theoretically I don't need to scan all these creatures because I'm not gonna use them all, but like I guess for like completion of the sake, I want them all, but I don't think there's really that much of a benefit to like scan everybody. Okay, so I know I will be countering more Danians later on, but we will scan the Malish one time here to make that a level. Oh, he's only level one. Never mind. We're gonna kill. These two, because I have level twos. There's no point in me scanning them. Uh, Rasmus will be great to have too. He's level two and his water. And then, of course, we'll scan Elixir when we get the chance. So we're just gonna kill this dude right off the bat. Oh, he blocked that. He saved. Oh, he lived with one. Decrescendo. Okay. Can I get seventy? Nice. Oh, targeting my magician in the back. Not nice. Not nice. Let's attack you before you get a chance to attack. So then it will be quicker to come back to my turn. Now she's moved up to the front. I love Odu back that. Odu back <laughs> bath axes. <laughs> it's hard to say. His his voice actor is amazing. Okay, Razzis, your stacks are kind of low. Another Decrescendo coming my way. Okay, they're with that chip damage. I mean, it's good chip damage because it does 10. Ooh, I gotta scan the bird. Because it always does 10 if I don't block it. Alright, we're gonna... Oh, it's level 3. I'm not sure if my Elixir is level 3. I didn't even bother checking. Okay, well, that might change things. Probably should have checked before I started this battle. Okay, well, I got her regardless. I don't need to... scan her again, so I can just kill her. But Elixia is really good for dating armies, especially in the actual card game. Because datings have like this whole like hive ability that that when it's activated you get different effects like you get more energy, better stats. Um, just overall, they're all about cohesion, and they have this like this another thing called uh, compost, as we call it in the TCG, where once they are defeated and go to the discard pile, certain things happen from the grave. Very, very cool decks that the Danians have, and they play differently than other creatures or other tribes. So now we just got to take down Elixia and scan Rasnus. I think I already have one of him, right? Sorry, my queen. But you chose the wrong person to fight. What the? Nice chunk of damage. 
she's gonna heal. Of course. She has four Muji counters! But the whole thing, like, Danian thing is when, uh, what they do is they, they they protect the queen, so all the other, like, fighters and whatnot. That's what their job is, to deal damage. And she has the freaking Doomhammer. When do I get that? I want that. I'm glad I got the aspect and fire agility because all my attacks are speed based. And so even like attack like that does a de decent amount of damage. I didn't have time enough to block. Time enough to block? Enough time to block, I guess. Is that what I wanted to say? You know, where it's difficult. I can't kill her in two shots. So let's do this. So she's probably going to heal herself again. But we're not going to let that happen because we're going to use a decrescendo to take her out. Nice. She's down. And I gotta scan Rasmus one more time? I don't know, dude. I, I tend to forget how many times I scan them. And that always bites me in the ass in the end because I will always just need that one extra scan. It's okay, add a cat. So I'm gonna fast forward this to the end because I gotta scan him one more time and I'm just gonna be taunting him for the rest of this fight. Alright, that's it. Hopefully, I did. Remember, I scanned him up. Perfect. You're safe now. What did they want with you? The shuttles were searching for an old music fragment. Wait, was that not the real Elixir? I knew where it is, but I don't. They just completely disappeared. You, you, you would think that after I defeated them to protect Lore, they would like, oh, say so. Oh, sorry, my dude. Find that fragment if I want to beat them to the lava pond. Now we can finally have five creatures in our army at the time. We've got two obliterators, two bronze flies, and two songs of resistance. Almost there. If the signal gets much stronger, I'll be right on top of that music. Okay, I gotta go forward that way. Hold on, I see something over here. Uh, two mind proof march heal five energy to the creature and deal five target for each Danian with water and more decrescendos. Those are great chip damage music. Uh, I don't know if that's where we started or not. Oh, actually, something over here. Can I farm these dudes? Oh, nice. There's something in here for me. Oh, more music. Elemental Elegy, target creature loses an element of your choice. Song of the Mandalore, target creature gains 5 to each staff for each dating and play. And 2 Geo Flourishes. Nice. Uh, I gotta go that way. I think this is where I was just at, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing left to do but to move forward. That's where we started at in the area, because I saw all the, the platforms with the, the Pyro Blaster ammo. I'm feeling there's going to be a battle up here soon. With this strong of a signal, I'm definitely on the right track to finding that music. Huh. What is that blue dot? I'm not entirely sure. Can I jump down there? Do you want to test it? Okay, I can't. Oh, let me. Oh, now it's like toxic gust. Ooh, I uh, did not need to get greedy. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Some music up there, too. Lots of music. Cascade Symphony, Fan for the Vanishing, Mindproof March, Song of Genova. You're going to. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Um, okay, oops. How do I get down there? Because I see something scannable, too. Maybe I, there's like I could, a way to backtrack down there. That'll give it to me. So 
So when the lights of their eyes turn on, that's when they're about to spit things. Okay. Yes, I'm. looks like I'm going down. Okay, I thought it was a battle. But no, it's just music. Lots of music in this area. You and the song, target Dana gains 5 energy. If Hive is active, also gain 10. I'm not sure how you activate Hive in this game. Because they might just be implementing the text straight from the, the cards themselves. And a battle up here, I'm assuming? About to find out. Or not. Oh, battle gear. I have lots of pyroblast ammo. Aspen Fire Agility already have. Okay. So, you're trying to hide there. Let's battle you. I'll, I'll, I'll take the challenge. Odu Bathex already have. Oh, dude, that Malish has four Mutu counters. Let me check out mine. Okay, so yeah, the the elixir that I, they gave getting was only level one. That has three. So I need to scan them one more time anyway. I got three lores. I mean, Rasnuses. So I do not have any Odoo Bathex scans. I need to scan Malish one time and whoever that is. We show two battles already this episode so i'm gonna cut this one out for sure uh let me update my battle gear to some of these creatures though all right well we're all done with that fight so i'm kind of banking on we'll encounter some of these creatures again later so that's why i only scanned odu bath x twice and hammer doom chain collar assimilated once and then we'll probably get our refines later on. So, we got more obliterators. I don't know why we need that many to him elements. And of course, the hive. So, that's one way to activate hive if we decide to go the Danian route. I think I'll probably show that off eventually since we do have a nice amount of Danians to build an army with. But we will end the episode, episode? episode off there, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Chaotic Shadow Warriors. Be sure to leave a like. And I'll see you guys next time.